to my kitchen. Now on today's video I have another techniques tutorial for you. So if you're looking for a new style to add onto your cakes, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these torn fondant wraps to go around the outside. These look so pretty on birthday cakes or wedding cakes and you can make them in any colour to match the theme of your cake. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget you can subscribe to the Cakes Manager YouTube channel. You can also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button, and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to start by covering my cake in a layer of fondant. So I've got a six inch cake here and I'm actually using a dummy cake for this tutorial. Now I'm just using a white fondant but you can colour your cake any colour you like depending on the theme of your cake. So I'm going to be having some of this white peeking out on the side and you'll also be able to see it on the top. Now I do have a more detailed step by step tutorial where I show you how I cover my cakes in fondant to get them to this stage. So I will put a link to that in the description below. I'm going in smoothing down first with my paddle smoothers and then going in with my two flexi smoothers just around that top edge just to get a nice sharp finish. And now our cake has been covered we need to work out how big a piece of fondant we need to create to wrap around the outside. Now it's entirely up to you, you could only have the wrap coming up halfway on your cake. I'm going to have mine coming up so it's slightly higher than the cake itself. So if I measure the height can see that it's just over five inches. The next thing to do is work out how long the piece of fondant needs to be in order to wrap around the cake. Now I'm going to have my piece of fondant wrapping all the way around and just crossing at the front but if you wanted you could just have it covering part of your cake. So I know that my piece of fondant needs to be between 20 and 21 inches in length. But now we're ready to create our marbled fondant to go around the outside. Now you want to bear in mind the characteristics of the fondant you're using as different brands of fondant can act slightly differently. You want quite a high quality fondant that has a little bit of elasticity in it. This is going to allow you to roll your fondant a little bit thinner than you normally would when covering a cake and it will mean that when rolled thinner it's not going to tear as easily. So I'm just using the White Vanilla Velvet by Smartflex but if you do find that your fondant does tear really easily when you roll it out into larger panels you could just add a small amount of Tylose powder. So I'm going to take a ball of fondant and I want to add in my marble effect. Now I want to keep it quite light so I'm going to add some white edible food gel to some black food gel. I'm also going to add a small amount of pink and just stretching that out I'm going to fold that on itself and just start to work those colours in. Once I can see that the colours have started to combine but we've still got the darker shades running through we're ready to roll it out. You want to place down some corn flour as you don't want your fondant to stick and I'm going to roll it out into a panel. Now the thing that I love about creating marbled fondant is it looks different on each side. So we have quite a lot more darker lines on this side and this side is a bit more pink. So I'm going to roll it out and we want to get it around one to two millimeters in thickness. Just adding on a bit more corn flour if needed. So as you can see we've got quite a long thin strip and just by using a fondant that has a little bit of elasticity I'm able to pick it up without that fondant ripping. Now I'm going to have a look at both sides and just decide which side I prefer. I'm then going to start just by creating a straight line along the bottom and cutting out my panels. Now I know that my cake is five inches in height and I want it to come above the edge so I'm going to mark on five and a half inches and going in just cutting this out and I need it around 21 inches in length. Now I'm going to start with my craft knife and if we imagine this is going against the bottom of my cake I'm going to create a curve and you just want to create it the shape that you want the wrap on your cake. You can leave your edges flush and do kind of a ruffle effect but what I want to do is make it look like it's ripped. So I'm going to start on the edge 
and just tear that fondant. So just pinching it between my fingers and just pulling. So this is gonna give quite a rustic feel. I'm then gonna take a small rolling pin and starting at the end I want on my cake last, roll that up, making sure that my rolling pin isn't coming out at the end so that we can lay that against our cake. I've then mixed some water with some icing sugar just to make it sticky. And I'm gonna start by running this along the bottom as I know that the bottom is all gonna be covered with that fondant. I can then bring back in that marbled fondant and start to unravel it, putting on some of that water as I go. I can then go in with my flexi smoother, pushing the bottom of that fondant onto the cake. Now you could have this flush to the cake or you could go in with your dressing tool Pulling some of that back so it looks like it's peeling away from the cake. And if there's any areas that at this point you just want to tear into a little bit more. Now the bit around the back that's coming above the cake, you just want to make sure that that's stuck all the way to the top. Now, if you didn't want to tear the edge and you wanted it to be smooth and slightly ruffled, I've got a small example piece here. So as you can see, it's around one to two millimeters in thickness and I've placed it on my foam board. Now, using a ball tool, you just want to run this lightly along the edge to get rid of that cut mark. You're not pushing too hard that it will rip. And obviously you would do this on your larger panel, but then when you stick it onto the cake, that edge is nice and sharp. The same as you did with the ripped edge, you can just pull this over slightly, which is gonna give you the same effect. It will just look a lot neater, depending on the type of effect you're trying to create. To finish this off, I'm taking some gold luster dust, and this is the Pure Gold by Sweet Sticks. I'm gonna mix this with a small amount of dipping solution to create an edible paint. And then take this on my brush, and I'm just gonna run it along that torn edge. Now, if you're looking for alternatives to dipping solution to create edible paints, I do have a video where I go through my six favorite things to use, and I will put a link to this in the description below. So I'm just lightly running the brush along the edge, not pushing hard enough that it will change the shape. placing this cake on my cake stand so I'm going to pop down a small amount of buttercream just to hold that in place. You can then leave it as it is or I'm just going to finish mine off with a piece of satin ribbon around the bottom. So here we have the finished cake with this really pretty ripped marble fondant wrap around the outside. You can then decorate your cake exactly how you like, whether you leave it as it is or maybe add some flowers or use it as part of a tiered cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use this technique to add onto your own cakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes by Lens YouTube channel. You can also check out all of the video tutorials on the Cakes by Lens YouTube channel just by hitting the videos tab. So until next time, bye!